Yeah. I found the dragon tracks. They go back that way. All right, let's follow those for a bit. Okay. Well, yeah, I'll figure out what all I managed. Uh, a little over a mile later. It gets hard because the dragon kept taking off flying and then landing again. Well, we know what happened to the dragon. We don't... Through the mist, it usually pop out. Through the mist, there's an island of a sort of a grassy knoll with uh, a clearing area with some trees around it. You see another dragon form, and this one much smaller. Like the first one, this one stands stock still. That thing, that thing was busy. What was the check? One. Yeah, you can see it. Hmm. It's sitting on treasure. Wait. Is this thing petrified or just still? As far as you can tell, it's petrified. <sighs> I mean, it's... If it was... It would know you're there. It hasn't moved a muscle. All right. Oh, greedy, greedy me. Approach the still dragon slowly. Hey. How big is this? Taking care of that. Give me a sec. Oh. Okay, look under it. And you've scooted around to where it's looking off in a different direction from where you're at. I see all that. Mm-hmm. Uh, for reference, how big is that chest? So this thing is actually bigger than some of those. No, not really. Uh, about the same. All right. Uh, I guess move silently up to it. Okay. Ooh. 70 of 60. Okay, you kind of make slurpy noises in the muck, but you get up to it. And I sense no, like, breathing or, like, you know. If I bump into the mound, it's still looking the opposite direction. Wait, are, the, are, it's, like, are its eyes actually open? Yeah, it's along the other side of its body from you. Carry it on, getting up on the mound next to you. And... Okay, so the tail suddenly does this bit. <laughs> Karyadoc disappears off into the mist, and its head whirls around as its taloned hand snatches you up, <laughs> pins you to the ground, and it's come down. At, you were like, you were caught completely off guard. You're pinned right next to a very, very, very disgustingly nice amount of treasure, but you're still pinned under a dragon. What color? Black. I should flick the flesh from your bones, monkey. It sniffs you. Covered in hair like the vermin. <laughs> 
generations were ancient beyond memory. When two moons hung in the sky, we were older than thought. Before the Eldari or the Dwerin were more than twinkling thoughts in the minds of their dreaming gods, we were ancient. And you dare to come to my lair and challenge me. You're Gary Dobson, somewhere off in the world. Well, he's not wrong on that part. Oh. Where is my mother thief? I smell her scent on you. Get back. Lifts up just a little bit. You say you you don't know where your mother is, and you smell her on me. She left to hunt the eye tyrants. It moved into our territory. We do not tolerate incursions into what is ours. Monkey. Unfortunately, I have to. Uh, Black beans. <laughs> huh? Black beans. Okay, glad you were saying. No, it's like. No, it's like unfortunately the or oh, well, unfortunately the way my character deals with like you know very stressful scary situations. Smart ass. Smart ass. So I was like, well, I have good news and bad news. The good news. I can tell you where your mother is and that the floating eye thing has been dealt with. Unfortunately, I think the floating eye thing turned your mother to stone and, well, ogre, or it's like ogres as were eating the thing in your lair. In a tree. Fuck me. I'm dead, aren't I? <clears throat> oh, this is not going to be good. All right, I'm dead. All right, so 4d6. Uh, you kind of have me crushed about the flaming. No, I no, I tell the truth. I, I tell the truth. I tell the truth. Throws his head back with a roaring howl of rage and anger. And you feel it pulls his talons up from you enough to where you could probably wiggle out. And he starts to bring his head back down. Looking like he's not going to stop. Stop what? Like, skewering you to death. Percent up, please. Seven. <clears throat> what did Carrie do? You said it was Carrie. Because I, I don't want it to be the dragon. Well, because I'm looking on the uh, critical hits table animal monster. I don't want it to be the dragon. Well, you rolled a seven. Which is shield ripped off arm, dislocating shoulder, double damage to shield arm until fully healed. No shield, re-roll. Okay. I don't want it to be the dragon. You don't have a shield, so you gotta re-roll. Oh. 35. Nah, that's only double damage. You're not doing too bad. What did it just do to me? Yeah, I'm still doing math over here. Oh, God. I don't like it when DMs do math. So, as you pin down, 
And Carrie and I just bitch slapped that thing with a hammer, hard enough to send teeth flying out of its skull and rock its head to the side as he's standing over you in the stands like... <clears throat> <laughs> just <laughs> I rolled a wisdom check for Karyodoc. I rolled 19. He has an 18 wisdom. He failed it. It was one of those, okay, this is probably not smart to do this. No, it's friend's trouble. <laughs> Must project. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's where the 20 came from. Yes. All right. Brendan. <laughs>